What is going on guys? In today's video, we're actually going to be talking about what a good VA does for your e-commerce business, okay? So um, going over a few crucial steps to obviously automate your time, not even automate, but delegate your time outside of your e-commerce business so that you can spend time growing the actual business, starting other projects, investing time in other things that need your attention, right? Because you shouldn't be wasting time fulfilling orders, doing customer service and all of that stuff, okay? So I wanna go over a few things that, um, again, like my VAs for my stores and basically your VAs for your stores should be doing um, so that you can just make sure that they're that you're getting the most value out of your VAs and that they're covering sort of all your bases. And guys, at the end of the video, uh, I'm gonna be basically letting you guys know how you can use the same VAs that I use. You don't have to worry about, you know, a lot of mistakes happening. Um, they're you know, experienced with all types of dropshipping and e-commerce, customer service, um, anything related to the space. Um, and they're the same ones that I use. So I don't have to worry about you know, VAs running away with your money um, or any other nightmares of stories that, that we've heard you know, in the space um, from time to time, right? Because again, you put a lot of trust into these people to, to fulfill the back end of your business and it hurts the front end of your business and your clients when stuff doesn't happen, okay? So that'll be at the very end of the video, all right? So the first thing obviously that they should be doing is fulfilling orders. Now, most of the time, guys, whether you're working with a supplier uh, overseas or on AliExpress or just via Oberlo, whatever you're doing, um, a lot of the times, even if you're using Oberlo or Dropify or another Shopify dropshipping app, there's ways where you can just kind of skip that, right? Because again, with Oberlo or even if you're fulfilling on AliExpress, right, that, that can be manual, it's time consuming, um, it's not worth your time, right? You shouldn't be wasting your time fulfilling those orders. So what you want to do, right, is obviously the supplier themselves, um, once you reach out to them, get on good terms with them, build out you know, a relationship with them, oftentimes you can ask them, hey, um, even before you build a relationship with them, most of them will do CSV exports for order fulfillment, which saves you already and your VAs a lot of time, right? So instead of manually having to uh, either send the supplier the information for every single order via like that's email or like a third party fulfillment um, service provider, or you know using Oberlo itself or using AliExpress to manually fulfill orders, which can again take hours, which is what I did when I first started, right? So you don't want you don't want me doing that. So a supplier will gladly, usually in 99% of cases, allow you to just simply export your orders as a CSV file and send it to them and they will fulfill those orders that they get and send you back a copy of that list with the tracking numbers accompanied with it, right? Now obviously this takes a little bit more time. You kind of need to talk to your suppliers, make sure that you're on the same page um, for the products and everything so there's nothing like no confusion going on. So suppliers will gladly allow you to export a CSV file with all your orders um, and basically send that to them and they'll send it back with tracking information. Now you can use other apps like Tracky Pay and Mass Fulfill and things like that to help on the front end of your own business. Again, a VA should be doing all this. You, you shouldn't be doing uh, most of this work. All right. If you're if you're just starting off, then there's an exception case there. But most of the time, guys, once you have orders starting to come in, um, your job, right, as as the owner of that store, is to grow the business, right? And you can't grow the business if your time is spent um, fulfilling orders and you know responding to customer emails and that 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 kind of thing. So again, you want a team to actually be doing that. You want virtual assistants to be doing that. You want competent virtual assistants to be doing that. Okay. So again, fulfilling orders, whether that's Oberlo, Dropify. Um, uh, AliExpress, whatever it is, you, you usually want a VA to be doing that. Um, and again, communication with your VAs and teams is, is really, really important here, guys, because again, you don't want them to, you know, again, export, say, orders for one type of product that belongs to one supplier, and there's another supplier that has this one, and there's some miscommunication, and you send it to the wrong team, and now all your orders are delayed by a few days. It's, it can be hectic, guys. So again, you want to have good communication, but that's the goal, um, is to have sort of like a streamlined process, all right? Now, the next thing you want to have VAs do is customer service, right? Whether that's um, via, you know, email customer Customer service, uh, live chat on your store through like a ticketing support software, anything like that, even on social media, you want them to be doing that sort of customer service. Again, if you can have all those bases filled, it's usually better, right? If, if you can only do, you know, email customer support, like customer support, that's not bad, all right? That's still a good start. Um, you can reduce your chargebacks and your refund rate a lot by just sort of engaging with your, with your customers. Again, because most of the time, guys, people just want to be heard. They want to know that there's someone at the other end of the line that's responding to them, that's, you know, so they feel taken care of. The worst is just when you can't respond to customers or you don't respond to customers, and that's where you get the most chargebacks and the most refunds, and that's where your merchant accounts start hating you, and and that's when you get cut and you have to find new merchant accounts, okay? So we don't want that problem with your guys' store, so that's one thing. Now, on top of customer service, like good customer service is key too. So you want someone that is able to answer questions that your customers or potential customers have and be able to urge them or nudge them in the direction of purchasing a product, right, if they haven't already. Um, if they already have purchased a product, they need to be confident enough to um, say like, say order a product and like, oh, I wanted this variant or like this color instead of this one that I accidentally ordered. Can you please fix that? You know, a, a good VA should know how to basically operate this 
is um, and just either like put a note in change the actual order on the csv file when it's exported or anything like that okay so again so that the customer at the end of the line right because the, cu the customer doesn't see any of this stuff happening in the back end they just see that they clicked a button on the site and they expect what they bought to arrive at their door or again in this case if a customer makes a mistake they expect that mistake to be fixed and the new product arrive uh, at their door in a good time frame, okay? The third thing, right, so there's, there's four kind of total things that I, a good you know, VA team or even one competent VA should be able to do. We already covered fulfilling orders, we did customer service. The next one is social media management, okay? So what I mean by that is, you know, if you're running Facebook ads, whatever kind of ads you're running, um, there will be people that trash talk on your ads, it's, it's common. Um, now there's a few ways to go about this. You can have a VA respond to them um, and you know, kind of address their concerns or their issues or anything like that. Um, you can also have a VA delete negative comments. So um, if someone's like, oh, I saw this on AliExpress, like you, don't, you wouldn't want that comment on your ad or else people are gonna see that and it's gonna hurt your, you know, your conversion rate. So um, having you know, a, a team or a person or a VA, anyone there that, that can spend time just perusing through your social media posts, your ads, everything like that, making sure everything is kept in check there will help out in the long run as well, okay? And again, that's not something you should be doing, it's something a team member or someone on your team should be doing, okay? On top of that, responding or ha at least having that channel open for Instagram DMs or Facebook DMs, anything like that where someone can actually answer and respond to questions there because people will um, you know, whatever, whenever you're scaling a store, whether that's through Facebook or through Instagram, whatever the case may be, people will ask questions regarding the product, regarding, you know, the shipping times, whatever, whatever the case may be. They might not always be able to email you. Um, they'll just simply slide in the DM. And most of the times people don't have anyone managing that where they take too long to respond to it and the customer's already gone. They've moved on. They don't care about your product anymore. But again, you want someone managing that kind of thing so you can capitalize on that. Because again, every order matters, guys. It could be the difference between profitability and not profitability. Uh, from a profitable campaign to a non-profitable campaign, okay? Now the last thing, the fourth thing that I want you guys to know about, um, you know, that, that a good VA should be able to do is handle chargebacks and returns, right? So they should be able to go into, your, say your PayPal, because PayPal is very, very important in terms of managing merchant account relationships, but in, in your PayPal, they should be able to go in there um, and properly respond to chargebacks, be able to submit, you know, tracking number, evidence, and proof that they purchased, uh, at the time of when they did purchase, any communications regarding that from any sort of email communication or any other transcriptions that, that happened in that sort of time frame, and be able to address that for PayPal in a fast time frame, right? Again, that's not something that you should be doing as the owner um, of your e-commerce business. You shouldn't be spending time doing that. You should be spending time growing the business so that you can make more money. On top of handling chargebacks, you know, whether that's through PayPal or even with Shopify or whatever merchant processing uh, company you're using, uh, on top of that, they need to be able to handle uh, returns, which are usually simpler than chargebacks, okay? But with returns, um, what you're looking for is, you know, someone that, again, if a customer responds, to be able to not just you know, blindly hand money back to every single one that wants a return, right? You have a return policy. Whatever your return policy is, um, you want to adhere, this, adhere, adhere by that policy, okay? So if your return policy is 15 days and it has to be, you know, the package has to be unopened or your product has to be unopened and in good condition, uh, they should be able to, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, convey that policy to the customer and say, hey, if, if it meets these following guidelines, then you can ship, you know, the product back to this address and we'll refund you within, you know, three business days after receiving it and making sure that it fits our policies. Anything like that, right? So being able to have someone that, again, is familiar with your policy can basically uphold that policy to customers when they want a refund um, and avoid kind of customers just trying to get their money back, um, even though nothing's actually wrong with their product, you know, because again, a lot of purchases on Facebook are impulse buys. You get uh, a crowd of people that sometimes are, you know, penny pinching and just want their money back. Okay. So having a good team that can do that guys, uh, at least these, these four bases are really what's important um, to have covered. There's, there's a few other things that you can eventually do down the line, like phone call and service like that, but that's not really required to even have a very, very good standing uh, back end and uh, of a business, right? So you don't necessarily need that, but these four bases that we covered, you know, the order fulfillment, the customer service, the social media management, reputation management, um, and the ability to handle chargebacks and refunds are really, really what you want to look out for guys. Obviously you can find um, a bunch of VAs on like Upwork or Fiverr or anything like that. They're cheap, but again, you have to be able to trust your VAs, right? Because again, you're going to be giving them your credit card information to fulfill orders. You're going to be giving them a lot of sensitive information, you know, with your store, with your payment information, with your merchant accounts, with everything. Um, and there have been, you know, nightmare kind of stories, just even from my friends themselves of, you know, VAs that kind of go behind their back or try and squeeze some money out of the customers themselves saying like, oh, hey, if you want to, you know, return this product for a refund, you have to pay like $5 uh, to cover, you know, a, a return fee or something to this PayPal address. And it's really not a PayPal address that the business owns. It's something that the VA owns. Like there, there's really shady things sometimes that go on in that space. So it's just something to be aware of and make sure that, that 
your at least you know know about that kind of issue and what could come from that so you know covering all your bases and making sure that you can trust your VA team is is basically what it is. Okay, guys. So basically, uh, you know, in the beginning of the video, I said that I would open up basically the ability to use the same VAs that I use, guys. They're you know super experienced. They handle all my customer service, all my order fulfillment, everything, all the bases that I cover. They know how to respond to chargebacks, how to handle refunds, how to you know do the social media reputation management, manage my ads, the comments on the ads, all that kind of stuff. So if you guys do want to use my VAs, if you have a store that's you know starting to do volume or already doing volume, and you don't want to be doing that yourself, or you feel like you I don't know, you can't trust your current VAs, then I'll have a link down in the description, guys. You can just fill out a little form. Um, I'll be in touch with you, and we'll see if you know it, if, if we can help you out um, and free up more of your time, okay? So that's the video, guys. I just wanted to cover those four bases just because I've had some people ask me, um, well, one, I've had a lot of people ask me what a VA is, but on top of that, I've had people ask me, you know, what they should tell their VA to do um, once they're getting orders, right? Once they first start seeing orders come in. So um, I thought this video could be helpful for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it, right? So I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to drop a like, make sure to comment if you have any questions or concerns and make sure to subscribe, guys, okay? Uh, the course right now is currently doing a little restructure review. We're adding a bunch more content to it. We're making everything a lot nicer. Um, the price is going to go up, but not for, I'd say, like two weeks, probably around two weeks, not a week, um, definitely two weeks, guys. So if you do want to hop in the course right now and get grandfathered into the new course or the restructure of the course, you can do that now. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything like that, you guys can DM me on Instagram. I'm way more active there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, take care. Peace.